Hello, welcome to watch this video. Today, I'll show you some new features in the TVC mobile mapping workflow in version 5.11. We'll go through these four major improvements and cover some minor changes as well. Let's start a new project as usual. Change the coordinate system. and import the mission. Pick a run or a mission and generate scans. You can choose the command from the ribbon or by right-clicking. The first major new feature is the noise filter. We have provided three noise filter templates to comply with different applications. The default template works with most of the scenarios. The rail and power lines templates, as the names indicate, work best when you need clean and sufficient data around those features. You may click the Advanced Settings and expand each template for detailed parameters. The predefined values come from numerous engineering tests, but if they don't provide you the satisfying result, you could change them after careful evaluation. I will not dive deep into each parameter due to the limited time, so contact imaging underscore support at trimble.com should you need more information on the settings. Next, and process the scan as before. The next major improvement occurs during the scan registration. Let's take a look. First, import the ground control points. And start the registration command. Starting from TBC 510, you can name each registration. And more importantly, choose different registration types to try out the best solution on each run. The global then local method is the go to method for most applications where the scan will get great match with controls in core areas and the adjustment continues to the whole run. When the general lift or shift is expected, the global method can be deployed and it will apply a consistent offset to the scan. If the adjustment is only required for a small segment, then choose local approach. Now add ground control points. When you pick a control point, a point cloud smart picking window will pop up, offering three picking types to pick the targets more accurately. This demo data set used checkerboard targets, so the best fit picking type would be an intersected plane.
Zoom in to the target. Snap to a point somewhere close to the target center. It doesn't have to be very accurate. The validation window now prompts, displaying a snapshot of the target. In this window, you can left click to reselect a better target center in the intersected plane. The final position can fall into a scan gap, but TBC will interpolate the 3D coordinate for you. Click Validate to accept the selection. Sometimes it's necessary to adjust the coordinate manually after. We can use the limit box to verify the coordinate. Originate the box at your control point ID. Change the dimensions to only display the target. This target falls underneath the ground because of the slope. We need to keep the accurate XY coordinates and lift the Z value. Coming back to registration, we can edit the Z value of this target until it fits the point cloud. The other two picking types are equally handy depending on the data set. For example, this project only used pavement markings as ground controls. To better pick the corner or the edge of a pavement marking, I'll use the road mark type. Follow the same workflow Click somewhere close to the target, then refine or validate the point. In some cases, a point was only surveyed to serve as a 1D control, and all you need is a target close enough for the elevation. That's when you can continue using the default type and simply snap to an existing point cloud dot. With point pairs ready to go, we can Click Compute to calculate a new SBAT trajectory file. For more information on these new features, hit F1 and refer to the TBC help doc. Click Apply to load the new SBAT to the project, which leads to the third major improvement, trajectory management. When we expand the run in Project Explorer, you can see two trajectories. The imported one comes from the original pass pack processing and was imported together with the mission. The second one was created just now 
by registering the scans to control points. As you can see, the new SBAT is not associated with any scans yet. So the next step is to update scans using this trajectory. Right click, choose Update Scans. Next, double check whether you are using the correct trajectory from the drop down menu. Then process. A minor but quite neat improvement is that now you can toggle both trajectory and its corresponding scans together. Right click a trajectory, choose toggle version trajectory. Secondly, we try to use the same color hue plus different tints for trajectories from one run. These two handy tips will help users to quickly locate the run when there are many and also ensure the correct point cloud will be worked on. What's more, we have added a few MX9 exporters to TBC 510 and 511 for greater data interoperability. Go to the export command, mobile mapping tab. You are now able to export the MX9 data for Soft3D format. And for TopoDot format. You can also generate a registration report with more statistic details. Here we list the coordinates of the control points and the target points, also the residuals between them. You may search for registration report in TBC help doc for a full description of the columns. This concludes today's video. Thank you for watching.